Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been probably about a month since I uploaded my last video, and that is because I am allowed back into people's homes to do jobs, and I had a huge backlog of work, so I've been working my buttons off getting those jobs done. But it's starting to kind of settle down a little bit, so now I'm back in my shop, and I'm making videos just for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make dowels any size that you want using just a router table. So to make your own dowels, it's pretty simple. All you need is a router table, and it's a must. You must use a router table. I would not do this freehand. It's pretty dangerous, and it's a lot easier to do it on a router table. And for this dowel here, I cut a piece of wood that's inch and a half by inch and a half. I did that on the table saw. I cut it to about inch and five eighths, and then I went over to my planer, and I planed it down till it's an inch and a half by inch and a half. And it's exact and that it's important that that is very accurate and the bit that I'm going to use for that is a three-quarter inch roundover and you may be wondering how do you know if the router bit is the right bit for the size dowel that you want to make and it's pretty simple to figure that out now what I have here is a three-quarter inch roundover bit so what you want to do is is take three quarters of an inch times it by two and that is how wide your piece of wood needs to be in my case it is inch and a half by inch and a half I also made some other pieces of blanks for dowels that I'm gonna to try to uh, experiment with and do for demonstration. And what I have here is an inch, and that is for half inch roundover bit that I have. So this is inch by an inch. And then I cut a three quarter inch, and that is for a three eighths by three eighths bit. And then I also have a quarter inch roundover, so I cut a half inch dowel. And I know this one works because I had a project a few weeks ago where it required half inch dowels and um, I did this trick, and I know, it, I know it's gonna work for this one. And then I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I have an eighth of an inch round over, so I cut a piece of wood at a quarter inch. So now that you got your bit in the router table, you wanna lower it until it's just right, and it's probably wise to do a few test cuts before going ahead and making your actual cut all the way through. All right, now all you want to do is just run your board through the router until you get to the end, flip it over, flip it over, flip it over, and when you're done, you'll have a dowel. Let's do that. So there it is, an inch and a half dowel. And you might have noticed that I didn't use the fence. And um, I did on the last cut, I adjusted it over and it actually made a much better finish and cut on there. Rather than letting the bearing ride against the wood, I let the wood ride against the fence and I ended up getting a much better cut. So now I'm gonna go make the rest of these dowels. I'm just gonna speed this all up and I'm gonna use the fence and uh, it should turn out quite well. So let's get into this. If you want to sand them real quick and easy, this only works for the um, for the smaller dowels. Obviously, you can't fit an inch and a half dowel into your drill. This is a half inch dowel, and it happens to just fit into my Milwaukee cordless drill here. And I'm just going to spin it and put some sandpaper on it. And the quarter inch dowel, it actually did work. I was surprised. Just going to give it a quick sand.
So there you have it. I just made five dowels using my router table. It was quick and easy. And um, yeah, with a little bit of sanding, you get some pretty nice round dowels. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.